Hello, welcome to a drum mallet tutorial. Very excited to show this to you today. I am a huge upcycler. So when it comes to filling the inside of your mallet to give it that soft little end, what I'm gonna use is recycled t-shirt material. One of the things that I've noticed, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some recycled t-shirt material. You should be supplied with one of these circles. And then you're gonna need a stick. So one of the things that I love to do when I find my mallet sticks is I like to find them in nature. And I have a little nature friend that likes to help me get them to the right size. And so I'm gonna bring this up to the camera. You might notice there's some teeth marks on it, especially when it comes to this end here. So the beaver. So the <clears throat> beaver lovingly chews up sticks and I find them washed up on the beach. It's up to you. There's different meanings for different pieces of wood. I'm working on a document and hopefully I'll have that done by later next week. And I'll post it up into the group. But you can also just peruse Google on wood meanings. So when you're using your medicine drum, your mallet is part of that partnership. You can use your hand if you so desire, so it's up to you. But when you're choosing your mallet, you want to have a stick about the size that you feel comfortable. So just think about beating on your drum and that length. This one's going to be kind of a shared one for my daughter and I because we've been making more drums. And with that, I kind of like to pair up different mallets with it, just color preference. Sometimes also different mallets will sound different on the drum as well. So find a stick that's the length and wood of your choice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have a lovely glue gun, make sure that it's hot. So you're gonna glue the end, you're gonna glue the end of your stick. And I've had mallets come apart while I've been drumming. So now I'm making sure and encouraging you to put enough glue on there. And then you're gonna just start to form your mallet. Notice the tension, it's very, very loose. If we wrap too tight, what happens is our mallet gets really hard and it might not give you the sound that you're looking for. So this is a trial and error on your part, finding what you like and listening to it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue on there. <clears throat> and then you're just gonna start wrapping it. You might need some water while you're doing this. <laughs> And then you're just gonna start gluing and wrapping, wrapping and gluing until you get sort of a bulbous, what looks like a drum mallet on the end. What will happen as you're working along is you might notice that it's sort of taking shape, not taking shape. Don't get overly concerned about this because what'll happen is I'll show you a trick at the end before we put on our leather piece, how to make your mallet kind of that sort of puff up and give you that sort of roundish look. This is kind of fun. So this is like in real time, <laughs> no dress rehearsaling it. So you can see it's starting to come together and represent a mallet piece. So any soft material you can use. And again, my, my mission is to sort of use and reuse things so then we're not polluting the planet and getting new stuff made for us to make something. But the choice is purely yours. And then I'm just gonna kind of squish it and feel it. It's getting to that point. I may put only another one or two pieces on. Mm. This is so fun. I really do like crafts. Let me know if you like crafts too. Okay. So we're at the point now where I feel like I have enough material 
and I'm going to sure to glue that end on. So here comes one more decision that you have to make. You'll notice that your leather piece has two sides to it. You're going to have to decide whether you want the, the soft, fuzzy side out, or if you want that shiny side out. My preference for me, because I'm a tactile person, I really like the feel of this. There's no right way or wrong way. It's your choice. So whichever way you want out, the opposite side is in. So here comes my trick. So notice now it's kind of, I could make it a little bit fuller. You just wrap it around like that. And I'm noticing I can put just another strip or two in there because there's enough space. So I'll just quickly do that. And again, I kind of used <clears throat> a lot of glue. Just making sure that it's going to stay together. Because like I said, I have had a <laughs> drum mallet fall apart in mid-song. And if you don't notice it right away, uh, you can potentially create harm to your drum. And you've worked really hard on it, so we want to protect it and keep it nice. So I'm going to put one more piece on here. Sorry, I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see my hands working. Cool. So last little bit of glue. I'm gonna put like a fair amount there and over. So once, this is my little trick, once I get the piece over, I push all of the fabric up and into the ball, making it so that way it kind of fills up that space and gives me that rounded edge. So this is going to take you a few minutes of just playing around, forming it, and then once you're happy with how it looks, you're going to take some yarn or sinew if you have it. I prefer to use yarn because then I can add in some colors and make it kind of fun that way. So once I have that piece, the yarn is just going to go over and across and then you're going to wrap it fairly tight. Making sure that, so see how this one little edge is popping out? You're going to just have to play around with it, get your edges all in. And once your edges are all in, there, perfect. Nothing like doing things live and having things kind of go away. That's okay though. So you're going to pull on the yarn firmly enough that you feel it cinching in the area that way. And then you're just going to continuously wrap it and pulling with a little bit of strength. And then when you're getting close, so you might, you might end up having like a little bit of the material show. And again, that's personal preference. You take the amount of time you need to, to make something that you feel good about. And I notice when watching others making their drums and watching mallets getting made, you know, you, you just sort of get into your own zone. It's sort of a mind, body, spirit, whole being connection. So just allow yourself to be playful. Give yourself permission to, to make what is going to make you feel good and feel happy about. So I get to the wrap just enough. I've got this end here. This end's nice and close. And then what I'll do is I will move the camera down. Down. There, you can kind of see my hands now. Cool. So it's just your typical square knot. Just as if you were tying your shoes you tie it tight one time and then tie it again, just looping over, hoping that you're seeing that good well enough. And now with these ends, you have two choices. I personally just glue them in with just a little bit of glue.
and remember that the hot glue is hot but if you're quick you can just push it over and now that tail unless you really look closely is now hidden and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to go over to the other side so when you're making your mallet notice that there are imperfections to it but once you start to live with it like the glue will show a little bit and that's okay so here is a finished drum mallet there's a little bit of material showing i'm gonna i'm just gonna live with it now you can take more yarn and continuously go down you can grab colored tape if you're gonna do any beading it's best to do it down on the end of the handle, not anywhere near the top of the mallet, okay? Because as we're drumming and beating, that movement and vibration from our drum may make this shift and then have beads fall off. So we don't want that to happen. You can sand your handle. You can, you can do whatever it is that you would like to do with your actual drum mallet. Uh, we have a wood burner and a Dremel. And so you'll be seeing over the winter, I will be putting holes in so that I can put beads in, kind of like the Zen wands and things like that. So let me know if you have any questions, if you need any more support. And I didn't think to bring a drum over. So anyway, it is functional. I will play with this one later on in another video and just show you the function of it. So make it a great day and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you all again very soon.